welcome to Airbus Direct for a UK special edition on this lovely Friday at Farnborough Air Show. The A350 left the air show yesterday, flown by British test pilots Peter Chandler and Frank Chapman. They did a low pass over Rolls-Royce in Derby where the Trent XWB engines, which are exclusive to this aircraft, are made. The A350 wasn't able to stay around all week, unfortunately. The aircraft is still in the intensive certification flight test campaign, which we expect to complete in September. But not only the engines and pilots are British, the wings of this aircraft are also designed and built in the UK. But you haven't missed out, British wings will be right now, right here, on display, flying on the A380 and the A400M. I'll now hand over to Robert Gage, who will be taking you smoothly and quietly, much like our aircraft, through the air display today. Well, hello, good afternoon and welcome to the Farnborough Air Show. It's Friday, it's the last of the trade days before we have uh, opened the show up to the public. And uh, I'm Robert Gage. I'm going to be talking you through some of the flying that's taking place with the Airbus aircraft uh, at Farnborough today. With me uh, to my right is Thomas Berger. He's Product Marketing Director for the A380. And he will be my source of expertise on, uh, on the largest commercial aircraft in the world. And to my left is Kieran Daly uh, from A400M uh, in Airbus and Defence and Space and uh, he will be uh, giving us some information about the military airlifter aircraft. As I look out the A380 is waiting, waiting to start its display and what a truly exciting display it invariably is. Well, the A380 is now flying into 41 airports around the world. So uh, those airports are the, the, mega, the mega city hubs. Uh, uh, and this is where really people want to fly. Uh, it's very concentrated, so we're going to have two more operators into Heathrow by the end of the year. Uh, and that kind of concentration is going to continue. And these airports are constrained in the most part. Uh, and the A380 uh, is a way for them to enhance their capacity uh, through uh, upgaging to larger aircraft. And this is happening at all the airports of A380 is flying into. This maneuverability is afforded uh, by the fact that it's got a very large wing, so up to 50% bigger, 50% uh, bigger than the jumbo jet. So that gives it this amazing uh, takeoff and climb capability. So uh, that's uh, that's what you're seeing in action: a British-built wing uh, on a fantastic aircraft, giving that performance. Uh, now Thomas can uh, take a take a break and uh, have a bit of a breather as the A400M gets ready to depart. We've noticed this year is this uh, giant game of tag that we play. The uh, the aircraft uh, run, rolls along the runway uh, just before the preceding one comes in, so you can almost get them in the same camera frame if you're in the right place. So I'll hand over now to Kieran and uh, Kieran, this is. Um, this is quite a special show for the pilots of this aircraft. Yes, Robert. The, the, uh, th this, of course, is uh, an aircraft which will uh, enter service with the, the Royal Air Force later this year. So we're very proud to be showing it at uh, Farnborough. Uh, we, we expect to deliver the first aircraft in uh, around about September. So that's the wing over. That is the wing over, and it gets a round of applause just as it just as it always does. It's an astonishing manoeuvre. But like all the display, there are real uh, aircraft capabilities being demonstrated here. The, the reason for that manoeuvre is that the A400M will spend quite a lot of its time flying at extremely low level, trying to avoid the uh, the enemy, so the people don't realise uh, that it's bringing in its supplies. If you then hit bad weather or you're attacked, you immediately need to, to pull out uh, 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 very quickly and then possibly get back into low level. And that's when you need that dramatic wing over to be able to perform those sort of manoeuvres. So it's not, it's not just an air, sh an air show stunt. There's a real reason for doing it. Uh, that's the A400M back on the tarmac. 
Well, that uh, more or less concludes the uh, Airbus part of the flying display at Farnborough 2014. I hope you've enjoyed it. I just want to say thank you very much to my colleagues Thomas and to Kieran for coming along today in the searing heat of Farnborough and Hampshire uh, to come and tell us a little bit more about the aircraft you see in today. I'm going to hand over shortly to, uh, for a short clip <coughs> pardon me, with Tom Williams, our Executive Vice President of Programmes, uh, who is responsible for the A380 programme amongst others. Thank you very much and have a very good weekend. I think all air shows are important in terms of being a focal point to collect orders, to, for people to come together, not only customers but also with suppliers. So whether it's in Farnborough or Le Bourget or anywhere else, I think it's, it's always important to get that kind of concentration, get people to make up their minds, get people to sign contracts. I think from a UK point of view, this year was particularly interesting because of course we launched the 330 NEO. And, and I have to say, incredible success. I think um, John and the team have, have really excelled themselves in the last few weeks, considering we only made a formal launch decision last week uh, to, to get nearly 120 orders or commitments for a programme so quickly. And from a UK point of view, that's important because, of course, it's got UK wings, not just, but it's also got UK engines from Rolls-Royce, UK landing gear, so it's a very British aeroplane. So I think it does give a strong momentum and it sends a lot of messages about what Airbus means to the economy and to jobs in the UK. UK supply chain is, is important, I mean it's, it's big impact from a, an Airbus point of view, not only for the, the 11,000 people we employ in the UK, but we generate about 100,000 jobs in the total UK economy. So it's, it's, it's a significant contribution. Uh, I think the UK, we tend to think about wings being the UK, but of course we shouldn't forget a lot of the great work that goes on in landing gear with people like Messier, in fuel systems, in uh, thrust reversers, with air cell at Burnley. So there are many parts of the UK that are heavily involved in, in Airbus programmes. And of course the, the, the UK aerospace industry, in terms of export value, is number two in the world. So aerospace is really important for the UK economy. I think the future can be a very strong one, can be a very bright future. But we need to make sure that there is continues to be a strong focus on, first of all, getting the right people. And that means bringing young people into aerospace, getting them excited at school time, school level, in subjects like mathematics and physics, so that we bring through the, the, the really bright, highly motivated people we need in our business. It is also about keeping the enthusiasm, there's a great enthusiasm for aerospace in the UK. It's also about having a clear policy from a government point of view. It's important the government understand how research and technology and the long term uh, approach that's needed in aerospace, all of that works together. So we've got to have a close working relationship with government to make that work as well. So I think there are many elements, if we get them right, that can, can really protect and, and drive the UK uh, aerospace economy.